And new at 5, 7 News is asking what happens next now that Denver has passed a ban against homeless camping. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson set out to find out, and she's live at Civic Center Park, where people are getting ready to camp out for the night. Molly, where are they going to go once this ban is enforced? Well, they have about two weeks to figure that out. That's when this new ordinance goes into effect. But from what we found out, nobody seems to really know where these people will go to sleep. This isn't on my hip right now, but I do have a nightstick. Jennifer Lewis knows life on the streets is rough, but for her and hundreds of others. They're pretty much making it like illegal to be homeless. It's about to get even worse. I mean, where else are we supposed to sleep? It's the question no one can seem to answer after Denver passed its homeless camping ordinance. In two weeks, it goes into effect, putting the problem squarely on police. I will try and find them services first, find them, get some, an outreach worker with them, and assist them in that manner before we would ticket or arrest. Unrealistic, says St. Francis Center Director Tom Lures. Part of the problem with that is the services might not be available. So Lures tells 7 News there are only 14 outreach workers for the entire city of Denver. Not very many, considering an estimated 300 homeless camp out every night. Still, we found even if an outreach worker responds, it doesn't mean they can help. They might not have anything to offer the person. Our shelters are full right now. Lure says they need more resources, more overnight shelters, and housing options before the ordinance goes into effect. So when people like Jennifer ask, yeah, but where else are we supposed to go? They can give her an answer. And there's also been a lot of talk about homeless going to other communities who don't have these ordinances. The homeless people we spoke with today say they may have no other option. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News. All right, Molly, thanks very much.